Hello everyone, the Ham Gaming here with F1 Manager 2023. It's the Williams career. Season finale, Yaz Marina with Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Qualifying, we are one and two. Verstappen second, Leclerc third, Perez, or Verstappen third, Leclerc fourth, Perez, Hamilton, Alonso, Joe Guan Yu actually qualifies eighth. Call the signs of that, Gasly tenth. But Gasly will not start there. Him and Leclerc will be going backwards. So Sonoda and George Russell will probably both be starting inside the top 10. And we're, since we've already won the Drivers and Constructors Championship and the Pit Stop Competition Championship, we're going to do a three stop. Run wide, wide open for the entire race. So. Everything is ready to go. Let's head down to the track and get this final race over with. Probably going to be Only fired after this one. Eight laps stand between the drivers and the checkered flag here under the lights at the Yas Marina circuit. Could this be a big race for that man, Alexander Albon? They start in P1, but will they be able to stay there? The first corner could be so crucial. And he's already each other's champion, so... In store, shall we? We are thirty like thirty million dollars in debt, so I'll probably Anything lose my job after this race. One, Dabby two, Grand three, four, five red lights. And lights lights out, and away out, we go. And away we go. And here we go. Both drivers ERS battle assist and high overtake aggression. Who's gonna have the lead going into turn one? Porsche or Alex? Alex has the lead. We're stopping. Uh, right beside Porsche. Verstappen gets ahead of Porsche. Verstappen's on the mediums. Porsche, Perez, Perez gets around Porsche. Wow. Max trying to take the lead. Trying to get ahead of Alex. Alex fighting hard on the outside, and Max is going to have the lead. Yep, Max takes the lead of the race. Yeah, well, I'm not really worried about the race, but even if we have a bad race, because we, like I said, Alex is already the drivers' champion. We've already won the constructors' championship, so this race does not affect anything now. Let's see if I can show it. Yeah, see, Alex is already the drivers' champion, and we're already constructors' champions. Red Bull is 80 points, 60 points back. And Alex leads by 35 points. Max can get within nine points, I think. But yeah, it's, he can't get there. Alex with 10. We've only had three winners the entire season. Alex, Max, and Porsche. Alex and Max have won 19 races, and Porsche has won three. And that's the 22 races. And we're here at number 23. And we're stabbing and Perez to have checked out. Wow. Maybe Porsche and Alex can get together and run these Red Bull cars down. Let's have Alex push. Push, push, push. Maybe he can run back, run down. We're stabbing in prayers. Come on, Alex, run him down, man. Not looking good. That Porsche use ERS. Is he going to get around Alex? No, not yet. Not yet. That yeah, Porsche use the ERS now. Get around Alex and go get these. Go get these two Red Bull cars.
Yeah, here you go, Porsche. Here. You pull that. Yeah, hell yeah, baby. You and Alex have ran them down, baby. There you go. Now we're all over them. The Red Bulls have lined up together, and Alex and Porsche have lined up together. Alex looked like he almost hit his teammate there. He's got to get back to him now. My gosh, he's going to lose, lose DRS if he's not careful. Alex looks like he might have got back within reach. So there we go. Come on, Alex. Let that poor share use ERS and try to get around Verstappen. For a second, can he get around Max? Not yet. Not yet. How about now? No, not yet. Yeah, I'm gonna speed this up since this is the season finale. Uh, we're coming up on pit stops here soon. Porsche is up, to, has got up to second place. Porsche is trying to take the lead. And Porsche has taken the lead. Wow. Alex up to third. And Porsche will be stopping on this lap. And he just crashed. He just crashed. And we don't have any more front wings available for him. Ah, uh, dang it. And now we've had a crash. He locked it up going into turn one. Oh, that'll be a costly crash. As the he car tried to stop that. With the wall. Well, following a crash like that, it'll be important now to ensure that any debris is cleared from the scene. He broke it. He, the front wing is destroyed, so that really hurts. Oh, he's done. He's done. He's out of the race. Yep. We're going to have Alex stop. And Verstappen stop. Is Max going to try to make it to the end of the race? Can Alex go to the end of the race? I ain't no way. Yeah, I ain't no way. Well, there's a chance, but gosh almighty. Stay close. Not Alex.
Alex hits a man, George Russell, for sixth. Alex hits around Hamilton for fifth. Alex hits around Joe for fourth. Now he's got to get around Leclerc. Leclerc for third. And he's one and a half seconds behind Verstappen. Come on, Alex, run him down, baby. There you go. Uh, well, Alex had the fastest lap temporarily. And it looks like it's going to be a battle between Alex and Max. Lando Lando Norris Shadow. has a pissed up issue. This one. We see Lando Norris boxing. Oh, the jack don't drop. Oh, but it's slow. Two and three so went down. Four went down. Five went down. Almost six seconds. That's horrible. Man, that's a killer. Alex back around Max. And we are 12 seconds ahead of Sergio Perez. Perez on mediums. Alex remains ahead of Max. Max hits back around Alex finally with 30 laps remaining. And Max will have to stop at least once. Alex is about to go to the medium tires. We watch Magnussen, all good at this point. And the car fails to respond. Now they did leave it very late. Go get him, Alex. Go get him, Alex. You're about to put on a new set of mediums, so get in front of him. There you go, Alex. Now you're in front of Max. No, you're not. Come on, Alex. What did you do? Why did you stop for? Oh, my Lord. A slow pit stop. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, Max Verstappen just won this race unless he has a problem. Alex with the fastest lap.
He's within 13 seconds of Max. He's within six of Sergio Perez. Come on, Alex, go get him, baby. If Max tries, to get, there's no way Max can go to the end of this race. And Max has made, and Perez made their stops already. Alex, 16 seconds ahead. And they both went to the soft tires now. So, if Alex can keep at least a... Fifteen, sixteen, fifteen, sixteen second hit lead on them. Because he's about to make a stop now to put on his soft tires. save some fuel we're gonna have to save fuel with Alex Big lifts. can he pull away from Verstappen while saving fuel his tires are way better than Max's tires so there is a good chance that he could do it And it looks like he has broken DRS on Max. And Alex Albon has pulled away from Max Verstappen. Are you kidding me? He Can he hang on? Can he save enough fuel to make it to the end of the race? Two second lead on Max. The three stop strategy has worked out. Five laps remaining. Alex with over a three second lead and extending it over Max. Wow. He was the only one to do a three stop and he has managed to get ahead of Verstappen and Perez with a uh, a sec the second pit stop was a five seconds slower, so that means he would be beating the hell out of him right now. With 0.2 kilograms of fuel left, four laps remaining. Now he's got 0.1, minus 0.1, I mean. So Alex will make it on fuel. We'll let him see if we can run the fastest lap. Three laps to go. send him on this lap. 100% pace. Push everything you got, Alex. Go get the fastest lap, baby. He's green through sector one with DRS from a lap down car. Yellow through sector two, though. And, and he gets the fastest lap. He does get the fastest lap. Wow. A 
Perez did a 123.6. And Alex Albon is going to win the final race of the season. The final race of the 2024 season. The second season with Williams, and he has been became the drivers' champion. Williams has went from mid midfield back markers to champions in two seasons. Alex has Stroll and Hulkenberg right in front of him. And Stroll goes a lap down. Hulkenberg <laughs> will yeah, go back again, around. And Alex Albon has won again his 11th win of the season. Is. Albon has taken first. Three drivers won. That's it. Only three drivers won the I don't entire think season. There was a single second of that race where they didn't believe they'd win it. Well, there was when that slow pit stop happened. Joe's going to use train to get around Yuki, his teammate Yuki Sonoda for eighth. Verstappen second, Perez third, Carlos Sainz will come on fourth. Leclerc fifth, Lorenzo is going to hang on for sixth. Hamilton seventh will be Sonoda or Joe for eighth. And Gasly and Russell are fighting it out for the final point spot. And it's going to be Sonoda eight, Joe going you nine. Will Pierre Gasly hang on to tenth ahead of George Russell? George trying his best, trying with everything he's got left. And Pierre Gasly's going to hang on to 10th. Russell, 11, Alcon, 12, Valtteri, 13th, Lando Norris, 14th, Nico Hulkenberg, 15th, as he follows Alex. Uh, his, <laughs> Alex, he's following Alex on Alex's cool down lap. <laughs> oh, wow. He, he could have went back around to Alex. He ended up following a lap down. Wow. And that will do it for the 2024 season. Will will Williams Alba keep bringing me back for next season? Will today. I be fired or will I leave them what bankrupt? What a brilliant race that was for the team. They just did everything right. The driver included, of course. But just look at this. The overwhelming excitement for those celebrating this achievement. And there's Alex Albon now, taking to the podium alongside his fellow drivers. Another win this year, and you know what? I wonder if they've lost count by now. <laughs> no. Hard to believe that's another one over. The season's ended, the party's just beginning, here in Abu Dhabi. What a season for Alex Albon and Williams. And Taylor Porcher had a damn good rookie season. There's going to be big celebrations for the Williams team tonight. I can tell you now, they deserve that championship. And it's not just one title they're celebrating. They picked up both the drivers and the constructors' championships. Utterly dominant. And that then concludes our time here in Abu Dhabi. And that's it for this season of Formula One. The teams will be working hard in the break, gearing up for another year of thrilling F1 action. Mateo Porsche finishes third in the driver's standings. Max second. Alex wins the driver's championship. 482 points. He won four sprint races, 18 out of 23 podiums. He had eight poles, 11 times had the fastest lap. Max only had three. We had a total of 15 fastest laps. 
10 poles and five sprint wins. Sergio Perez did not win a race, even though Red Bull won nine races. That was all Max Verstappen. Wow. We were on the podium in 20 of the 23 races. Red Bull was on 19 of 23. Ferrari, no wins, seven podiums. Mercedes had one podium. Aston Martin had two. Alpine had one. And that was it. And that was how dominating of a season it was for Williams and Red Bull. Three teams, four teams combined for one, two, three, four, eleven podiums. And both Williams and Red Bull had more than that. More than all four of those teams combined. And Perez has the fa had the fastest pit stop. Easily, Williams easily wins the pit stop competition championship. It did cost us, cost them two hundred sixty thousand dollars, but for a season that they we had, it was a great season, almost four million dollar payday for the final race of the season. Yep, I know. We have fourteen million dollars in debt. Isaac Hadjar wins the F2 championship dominating fashion. Wow. No Black finished. Wow. No Black finished second. Two points ahead of Gabriel Miney. Vesti fourth. Arthur Leclerc ties Vesti for fourth. Paul Aaron in sixth. Coach Miney seventh. Gabriel Bartoletto eighth. Enzo Fittipaldi ninth. And Victor Martin tenth. They have no confidence in me. They get about look towards the team still. Lando still has a negative outlook toward the team. Well. My congratulations, you blew us out of the water a little bit this season. Can't deny that. I can call it a lucky break, though. Let's see if you can repeat that luck again next time. Enjoy the end of the year, and I'll see you on track soon. Christian Horner. Well, thank you, Christian. I appreciate that. I'm on Victoria, starting with the Drivers' Championship. We saw Tail Porsche coming in third. Max Verstappen took second place. But the Formula 1 2024 World Drivers' Champion is Alexander Albon with 482 points. So we're happy to have gotten the trophy, honestly, said Alex. I don't think many people bet on me winning winning the championship this year, but I'm, I'm here. or But here I am. I'm so proud. 
I'm so, so proud of the team. Williams wins the title and moving to the Constructors Championship. Ferrari took third. Red Bull came in second, but with 822, 822 points, Williams is taking home the trophy. Apparently, I had this to say: we were, we were the, uh, well, we were the underdogs this season, no doubt. No one thought that we would be here this year. We exceeded everyone's expectations and showed them exactly what Williams can do. Next year, I don't think anyone will be surprised by our performance. Perez, fourth, Leclerc, fifth, Carlos Sainz, sixth, Russell, and Hamilton, seventh, eighth, Alonso, and Stroll, ninth, and tenth, Alcon Gasly, eleven, twelve, Sonora, thirteenth, Magnuson, fourteenth, Lando, fifteenth, Joe Guanyu, sixteenth, Oscar Piastri, seventeenth, and the bottom three, Val Valtteri, Hulkenberg, and Ricardo. Alfa Romeo did not score a single point. Nico Hulkenberg was the only driver of a team not to score a point. official does that change anything nope apparently not well that kind of throws a wrench in all my plans because I wasn't planning on bringing him back next year save this really quickly just in case I get fired that way I can decide to go to another team if I do and it is a new month toward us. I cannot believe that. And the board has still no confidence in us. Even though we have our champions, we destroyed the long-term objective of six podiums this in within four, three seasons, four, three seasons. 20 podiums, we only needed six. We only had to finish fourth or better, we won the damn thing. Yeah, we're still mm, almost $10 million in debt. Yeah, like the smoothness has improved more. Porsche's overtaking and reactions. Behrman's smoothness and reactions has improved. With four weeks left in his contract, George Russell still has no interest in coming to our team. And the way it looks, I'm about to lose my job.
2.165 seconds. Two point one eight seconds. And all of our facilities are pretty much destroyed also. We're just fifty million dollars over the cost cap. It's just fifty million dollars over the cost cap. That ain't bad. And nope, George Russell is not interested in coming to Williams. Color signs is 30 now.
Damn it, I wish it had been the safety simulator. One more week of Alex is all we have. I cannot believe we are champions. Oh, that's why. Because our team rating doesn't change until the end of the season. Are you kidding me? I'll give you a $400,000 summon bonus. And $45,000. We're coming in for it. How's that? And we'll raise your salary. Nah. And he declared it. He's happy with everything except for the salary. Alright. Give you 5.7 million. How about that? And he declined it again. Response is positive, though. And he still declines it. Are you kidding me, Alex? My God, boy. He accepted the deal. This man stays on.
see if Alex will take. His patience is low. So we better offer him enough to bring him back next year. So let's see if we offer him what nine million. That's seven hundred fifty thousand a month. And he declined it. So he may not interested in coming back, huh? Pay him a hundred thousand dollars a month. Give him a two hundred thousand dollar signing bonus. Twenty-five thousand dollars to finish top eight. Man, he accepts it. accuracy and smoothness is horrible. Oh, Isaac Hadjar. Bring in the F2 champion. Thousand seventy five thousand a month with a fifty thousand dollar sum bonus. Seriously. All right, about one point six eight 
for 140000 a month. Yep, we have all of our drivers for next season and our crew. $12 million for winning the DHL, DHL fastest pit stop competition. Board confidence goes up. Alex wins the driver's championship. Porsche third. We won the constructor's championship. Team rating. Team principal rating was 454, it's now 654. Team rating is now 654. Board confidence, lost confidence. The board assists your performance as team principal for the entire season and have compiled the below report. Lost confidence. You've been fired. Take the team to the driver's championship and the constructor's championship and the comp uh, pit stop competition and still fired. Reach out the last five races. Why the hell would I do that? <laughs> Restart the season? No. We're just going to switch teams. You have the option to switch to another team and take up your role as team principal there instead. The teams available to you will depend on your team principal rating. Team principal ain't high enough to get Val well, Williams, Red Bull, or Ferrari. We can go to Mercedes though. Or Aston Martin. So I can't, well, I don't know. Nope, Alex, is it Mercedes? Alcon and Albon and now Mercedes. Russell and Sainz at Ferrari. Leclerc and Verstappen at Port Perez and Porsche. Stroll and Joe and Oh my gosh. Do some moving around if, if I want to go to Aston Martin because I'm gonna have to get new drivers and change the staff, it looks like some of the staff. Piastri and Pierre Gasly are now at Alpine, Alpha Tori is still Sonoda and Juggling You. Kevin Magnuson is with Lando Norris and McLaren. Mick Schumacher is back at Haas with Nick DeVries. And Alfred Mayo is still Valtteri and Daniel Ricciardo. Mick Schumacher goes back to Haas. I'm tempted to go to McLaren. It says their car performance is not the best, but... With, with Lando, yeah, I, I could take Lando to a championship. 
You only want podium contender? You only want me to finish fifth? That's it? Aston Martin only want fifth. Roy want third. Williams wants champion. Red Bull only wants second. Wow. Okay, so McLaren has the seventh best car. Car performance wise, they're seventh. For sure, sure still at Williams with Sergio Perez now. Okay. Take McLaren and turn McLaren back around into champions. I've already done it for Williams. Why not do it for McLaren now? Won't be able to switch teams again until the end of the season. Are you sure you want to continue? Yep. Sponsor allegations, crank that all the way up. Uh, race simulator weekly development boost. Race simulator weekly driver development, okay. Max that out. Race hospitality. Memorabilia. Oh, okay, that's fine. That will do it. When I come back, we will be starting the career, the McLaren career for the 2025 season. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, share it as much as you possibly can. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. This is Damn Gaming saying, I will see y'all next time.